Hey everyone, welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate seeing you here. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome aboard. If you do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video. That would be greatly appreciated. Today we're going to start a new series on my channel, and it's going to be one designer, one niche fragrance. Stay tuned. Okay, like I said before, we're going to be focusing on two different fragrances. This one is one that I really like. This one I wore to my aunt's wedding. It is called Invictus. And the next one is going Lucas, to Lucas, where are you? Um, I'm not supposed to be here. Bye. I'm not exactly sure what he was doing down here, but Lucas just ran upstairs really fast when I called his name. My guess is he might have been talking about the fragrance left from the counter here, and then has this one right here, Paco Rabanne Invictus. This is one of his personal favorites, and according to Fragranica, the main accords are citrus, marine, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and woody. Now, this fragrance is very special to that little guy, and I'm going to say it's Lucas approved. Uh, he wore this to my sister-in-law's wedding. Her and my brother-in-law, Brian, so Michelle and Brian, got married this past summer uh, in July. It was a great wedding, beautiful wedding. Pictures were literally out of the catalog. Um, he wore this, dressed up very dapper, looked amazing, and got a little crazy on the dance floor, which is absolutely what we wanted to see. Now, for me, this one here has an awesome scent memory like that. That brings me back to that date and time, so for me, it's a great fragrance, uh, according to that scent memory. As far as the makeup of the fragrance itself... Uh, I sprayed my hand a couple seconds ago. Spray it again. A little bit more fresh. It's very easy to wear. Mass appealing. Uh, blue fragrance type deal. Not like a rich, warm aquatic. But that bubblegum, clean with... I smell the alcohol in this a lot when I smell it. Uh, it doesn't smell like a crazy chemical bomb or mess in any way, shape, or form. And that alcohol dries away really fast to me. And you get just a nice, clean, soapy fragrance. It's kind of like shower gel, something like that to me. There's nothing that's outstanding or amazing about this one, but it is just a general easy to wear fragrance. And if you haven't got your nose on it, eh, why don't you? Paco Rabanne Invictus. Like I said, this one's Lucas approved. Not my personal favorite, but it's a good fragrance. So what we're doing with this series today is basically doing one niche and one designer. So we're going to just start another series. Why not start something pretty cool in my opinion and do one niche, one designer fragrance, and just talk about them. Not a crazy major in-depth uh, review, but to let you know what I think about them. Uh, one quick note about Invictus, that doesn't last long for me. Uh, two to three hours max. If it projects at all, it's an hour to hour and a half. But it does leave a nice scent trail, and it's very easy for like the office and such. I meant to say that a second ago, so I want to get that in there for you. The next fragrance is one that I personally like a lot. I'm going to tell you that right up front, because I like to just be straightforward and honest with you. It's this one right here. I'm going to try to get this in focus. So Drat Boise from Mancera. According to Fragranica, the main words are woody, fruity, citrus, leather, sweet, and sour. Hopefully that's in clarity. Cool. So for me, with the Mancera fragrances, I really like the weight of the bottles. I like the heaviness of the cap. All the different things to do with that, for me, is a really nice part of these fragrances. They're pretty basic, pretty simple. Presentation's nothing amazing, but for me... It feels great in my hand and not for nothing when I have a fragrance that feels good in my hand then I kind of like the fragrance a little bit more at times so we're gonna spray this hand for me I smell right off the bat some sort of a pineapple note whether they use other citruses or other fragrances to reach or achieve that note that's great but for me it just smells so good um, it's it does have the little chemical mixture. Again, when you smell it, nothing horrible in any way, shape, or form. It is actually really nice to me. I enjoy wearing this fragrance. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's in the wheelhouse of like the Aventus clones or something like that. Even though it's not a clone, it does stand by itself. If you like that type of a fragrance, you'll probably, you know, this one will probably appeal to you. As far as this one goes, I get a pretty good amount of pro um, projection out of this for the first hour to an hour and 45 minutes where you can still smell it. I can walk by something if there's air or wind going by. 
I can smell it waft off of something or someone. If someone gets close to me, I can actually sometimes actually smell it radiating off of me onto them and back to myself, which is pretty cool. Uh, overall, it lasts for five to six hours. It could last longer that I don't smell it. I might become numb to it, which is okay because uh, the price point is really not that bad, especially where this is considered and or is a niche house and a niche fragrance. So for me, Cedrop Waze, definitely a winner. Uh, if you don't have it yet, check it out on the Facebook in, uh, groups and community. Check with Kushik and a bunch of other people. They have some great deals online. Um, I definitely would pick up another bottle of this. <laughs> I, when I say this, it sounds crazy. But this is either the fourth or fifth bottle of this I've had. I've decanted a ton of this fragrance. It's probably one of the most requested fragrances people ask me to send out to them when I do have a bottle. So I put them into smaller bottles and I send them out. And, you know, people really do seem to enjoy this one. Uh, for me, if you like this one, though, pick up that full bottle. I definitely say reach out to someone in the fragrance groups, though, because you will save a lot of money. And this can be a pretty expensive hobby. So, again, Sir Drop Waze. It's a big winner in my book. Definitely, if you get a chance to get your nose on it, either try to get a decant or a sample. And if you've already tried and you really like it, I'd say go for this bottle. So that's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had a good time making it up. And ultimately, if you wear either one of these two fragrances, you're going to be more than fine. They're very easy to wear, mass appealing, and simply just very simple to put on. Uh, you can wear them for dates, for parties, for office, for anything really. They're pretty simple to wear and mass appealing fragrances. If you've tried either one of these, or if you haven't tried them and you plan on trying them, or if you have something else from the same houses that you think are a little bit better or in the same line, maybe a flanker, put it in the comments down below. I love interacting with everybody. I do really attempt to respond or reply to every single comment that goes down there. Um, so again, throw some comments down there. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. I'd love to see you hang around with us for a little bit longer. Uh, like this, share it with your friends, anything like that would be greatly appreciated. And remember, if you're making the world a better place, just one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time. I don't know what he said before, but remember, take my word, get this one, Invictus. See ya!